The Fortieth Lesson A Failure There was one boy in Jimmy's form named Emil Nickel. The boy's father was German, so he had a German name, but his mother was English. Emil tried very hard to learn the German language and always prepared his lessons. One day, Frau Hoch told her class that there would be a very long dictation from their textbook the next day. She asked the children to prepare the text on page 24. When the day of the dictation came, Emil Nickel put his textbook away and opened his copybook. All the other pupils, on the contrary, instead of putting their textbooks away, opened them on page 24 and putting them on their lap, began to copy the text. The kind-hearted teacher was sitting on her chair in front of the class, dictating the text from page 24, stressing the full stops, commas, semicolons, exclamation points and so on. Well, children, that's enough. Now give your copy books to me, please. I'm sure you will get excellent, all of you. And she was right. All the pupils got excellent marks, except poor Emil Nickel, who got only a good mark. The boy was furious. It's not fair. They were copying all the time from their textbooks. I didn't. I made only one mistake, and you gave me a four. It isn't fair, the boy cried angrily. Frau Hoch was shocked. Oh, Nickel, shame on you. How dare you say such bad things of your comrades? You are a very, very bad boy. I say what I say, Emil cried. They copied from their books. I saw it with my own eyes. Oh, children, let us punish that wicked boy. Let us have another dictation tomorrow. You will put your textbooks on my table in front of this wicked boy. Then he will see that you are right, and he will be ashamed. Prepare the text on page 21, Frau Hoch said. When the bell rang and the teacher left the classroom, the children did not run home as usual. Emil Nichol saw them whispering mysteriously about something. It was clear that they did not want him to know their secret, so the boy left the classroom without looking at his comrades. Next day, all the textbooks were put on the teacher's table in front of the whole class. She counted them and began to dictate. Jimmy, as well as all the pupils, had secretly borrowed a textbook from the parallel class and was now sitting with it on his lap, looking innocently at that unsuspecting German teacher. He was the luckiest boy in the class, for there was a big hole in the top of his desk through which he could see the text very well. Jimmy began to copy the text without paying any attention to what Frau Hock was dictating. He wrote very fast, trying not to make any mistakes, and had finished copying the whole text before the teacher had time to dictate more than five or six lines. Just as he was writing the last word, he heard Frau Hoch's voice. That's enough, children. Give me your copy books, please. Jimmy looked at the teacher with wide open eyes. He was at a loss. His face was red and his hands trembled as he put his copy book on the teacher's table. Now, children, the lesson is over and you may go home. I'm sure you will get excellent again, she said, smiling at the children. At the following lesson, the whole class was bursting with laughter. Even Emil Nickel, who did not get excellent this time either, forgot about it and was roaring with laughter at poor Jimmy the Carrot. At last, Frau Hoch lost her temper and cried, Do stop that awful noise! What has come over you? What are you laughing at? Emil got a four, and the carrot got a five. Ha, ha, ha! shouted the children. Is a four such a bad mark? What's wrong with a four? A four means good. But the pupils went on laughing. Suddenly the door opened, and in came Frau Schwarz. 
Oh, Lochen, gasped Frau Hock, rushing to meet her friend. The class got silent at once. One could hear a pin fall. Frau Schwarz looked very thin and pale. She sank into a chair offered by her friend and wiped her forehead with her handkerchief. Children, I've been standing at your class door for a few minutes, and it seems to me I've been standing at the cage full of roaring tigers. What does such a bad behaviour mean? Are you off your head? The pupils kept silent. Then Frau Hoch told her friend the story of their German dictation. And now, Lochen, they're laughing at Jimmy Dale, the boy who got a five. I can't make head or tail of all this story. Frau Schwarz smiled. Don't worry, dear. Now they'll laugh with the other side of their mouth. You're too naive and inexperienced, and you know nothing about school, she added in a whisper. Now, children, get ready, she continued in a loud voice. We'll have a dictation. Emil, go to the teacher's room and ask the director to come kindly to class A. Here's a note for him. And she handed Emil a folded sheet of paper. When the director entered the classroom, Frau Schwarz took away all the textbooks and, putting them in a pile on the window sill, began to dictate. It was the same dictation that the pupils had written a few days before but the result was quite unexpected. Jimmy got a bad mark. Emil got excellent. The rest got satisfactory. The carrot was so ashamed that he declared never to use cribs any more. On his repentance, he ran to such an extremity as to show the director the hole in the desk through which he had copied the text. Jim even asked his permission to change the place with some other boy. I'll have your desk repaired, said the director, smiling, but you'll keep your seat at it in remembrance of that historical event. From that day on, Jimmy's desk got a name of Jim Dale's Historical Desk, and it was considered a great honour to sit at it.